Hey everybody, hopefully everyone's doing well. Uh, we got the next part of the uh, brain skills, reactions, and foot touches for today. Hopefully everyone's ready to train. Let's go. Oh, what an awesome day. Go train, have some fun, continue to improve. Just make ourselves better every day. Today we're gonna add the wall. Okay, so for the first exercise here, you just need one ball, very simple. Just start a couple of uh, feet away from the wall. Okay, here, and you're just gonna alternate, let the ball bounce off the wall, and alternate your catches with your hand. Just get ready, and here we go. Oh, <laughs> great stuff. So do that for about a minute. I'll just get you in, into the rhythm. Now for the next part, we're going to do the same thing, but this time you're really going to focus on the numbers on the ball. Okay, and here we go. Great job everybody. So what we're going to do for the next one, we're going to go uh, stay in standing, but this time we're going to look to throw two balls at the same time. They start off slow, get into rhythm. Once you get comfortable, you can increase the speed, increase the difficulty. And here we go. Okay, continue to focus on the numbers on the ball. So increase, okay, your tension, focus. So increase the speed by getting closer to the wall. So here, so now it's a lot quicker. Just continue to focus on the numbers on the ball. Okay, good. Now we're going to go back to the one ball, but we're going to make it a little bit more challenging. We're going to go from the knees here, okay? Just one ball, just to alternate between our both ones. Ready? Here we go. Hey, great stuff. So do that for about a minute. Okay. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to uh, just challenge you a little bit more. So now, as you throw the ball, you're going to call out the number that you see comes in your hand. Ready? And here we go. Three. Three. Six. Two. Woo! Hey, fantastic. Great stuff. Okay, so now we're, we're going to continue, make it more challenging. This time, we're going to look to go with two balls from a kneeling position. Ooh. Okay, great stuff. Okay, way to continue to work on your brain skills. Alright, so now, what we're going to do, we're going to go with two balls. Right? But this time, we're going to pull out the number out loud. Ready? Here we go. One. Five. Two. Okay, so you've done that for a minute. Okay, obviously the more repetition, the more comfortable you get with it. You can increase the speed or you can look to get close. Great stuff everybody. So we got the brain field coordination. Okay, with the wall today, now we're going to finish up with the foot touch. We're going to take a component of the, the scissor move, alright, and you're just going to work on increasing the speed that you move your uh, legs around the ball. Alright, so just going to go for a minute, alright, just here, here, try to do as many as you can. Okay, if you're struggling with it, slow it down, focus on the quality, then once you're more comfortable, you can increase the speed. Ready? And here we go. So again, just take one piece of the scissor, okay, and look to continue to work on it, increase the speed, get yourself more comfortable, and then you can be effective with the ball. All right, great. So we got the final foot touches of the day. Uh, just going to get used to getting our touches and a few foot ball with the bottom of our feet. All right, so this one here, you're going to go for about a minute. Just swing the ball back and forth. Okay, here we go. Okay, 
Great stuff. Great session.